My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. Today we will see how you can use the anchor base activity in UiPath. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about UiPath and RPA. So let's get started. Typically, we use the anchor base activity when we can't find a reliable selector. Let me show you. So we'll have a type into, and I open this website over here. And we want to type something into the address field. So we'll indicate the address field here. And then we can type something in like road. Like this. And we can run the workflow to verify that it works. Now we run and we can type in road. However, when um, the site changes, now the address is here. Then we run into problems with the selector. Now it's not reliable anymore, it changed position. And what we'll do here is that we'll create an anchor base. So let me start it, because now it will just time out. And we will delete this. Then we will search for an anchor base here. We'll drag this in. What this does is that we create an anchor close to where we want to do something. And then we will drop our do something, our activity in here. So let's have our type into first. Type into here. Let us get a clean, fresh side here. Then we'll indicate the address field that's here. We can type in road again. And then we will have an anchor. And that's something close to this address field. And the most uh, best thing to do is just take this address because that will always be close to our field. And we can choose two types of anchors usually. First, we can have a find, we can have a find element like this. That's the best thing to do. If that doesn't work, you can use the find image. But um, let's use the find element first. So, oh, sorry. So we'll use the find element, drag it in in the anchor and indicate our element. That will be the address here. Now we mark the anchor base and we can choose the anchor position. And if you look at it, the anchor is over our activity. So the anchor position will be on top like this. And we can see that the position here changes. So now we have our anchor on top. Then we can try to run it like let's run it two times to verify it works on different sides. It works here at least. Now we create a new side. Then we can run it again. And it works here as well. So uh, let's say that the, uh, this find element uh, didn't work, we can delete it, then we'll choose the find image. The, this works almost as the same, it's just not, not as reliable. But let's try to indicate it. And what we'll do here is that we'll indicate our um, anchor here, so that will be the address that's an image of. And other, other than that, it works uh, like the same. Let's try that two times to verify that indeed it works too. So now we run it and it find uh, it here. Let's take a new side and run it again. Like here. So this works. That's how you use the anchor base. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. Bye bye.